You're listening to the Visually Stunning Movie Podcast, the place to come for movie reviews, along with some extra fun talk about movie-related topics like box office and awards. You can find us on iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, and basically any place else you can find podcasts. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter for even more content. If you like what we do, feel free to share us with your friends, like and leave feedback wherever you listen to us, and let us know what you think. Now, let's get on with the show. Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Mark here. I've got another quick little review for you. Um, This is called Climate of the Hunter. And it comes out, or yes, it comes out January 12th. So if you're listening to this after that, it's already out. Um, It will be released digitally from Dark Star Pictures. And it stars Ginger Gil Martin, Mary Buse, Ben Hall, and Jacob Ryan Snovel. Um, in which two sisters and go, uh, are out at w- one of their remote house out by a lake or in the woods, uh, and an old childhood friend returns uh, from Europe or South America. It's kind of fuzzy. Uh, but he comes back, and they both really liked him when they were young. And so they're kind of jockeying for his affections even though he is married and his wife is in a a a home because of a medical condition uh she's basically catatonic and so so he yeah he's thinking about coming back to america for her care but so they're kind of whining and dining and spending time there now this feels it, it appears to be set in the 70s and it feels like it was shot in the 70s, all of the set dressings, all of the costumes, the way the film feels, the aspect ratio is TV, you know, three by four. Uh, It's just, it commits to that aesthetic and, and just hammers away at it. So, and that carries over to the film itself, the substance of the film, not just the style of the film. The substance of the film is very 70s, cheesy, thriller, horror, because uh, our gentleman, Wesley, may or may not be a vampire. But we're not really sure because one of the sisters has mental issues and may or may not be hallucinating a bunch of stuff. So we get this weird, almost, almost hammer house of horror esque, but not quite feel to climate of the hunter. So you have to have, I think a very specific kind of film to go into this and really enjoy it. Um, if you just kind of like the camp of the seventies, the way it, the, the camp of the way it feels now, not necessarily that the film is campy, uh, but the camp of that kind of style, you will probably uh, enjoy this film more than someone who does not. Uh, so that is, is really, really where I'm at. I'm, I'm split on climate of the hunter for you. Um, I thought it was okay, so so I can't. I won't tell you it's bad because I don't think it's a bad film. I I just don't know that I'm necessarily. I just don't know that it's my movie. Ugh. Tough. It's a tough recommend this time. So, Climate of the Hunter, digitally out January twelfth from Dark Star Pictures. Um, should be able to find it on any streaming service. Um, if I get links or, or, or outlets, of course, I will put them in the post on the website, vsmoviepodcast.com, which is more than ever now where I'm going to tell you to go to get hold of our episodes. But you can still go to any streaming site, basically, because we're there. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook or Twitter at VS Movie Podcast if you have such things still. Take it easy. Stay safe. And we will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.